Hello everyone. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to Bistro Buzz TV, where we're going to be starting out a new series here. It's going to be a five part series. We're going to do a little something new here. As you can see, some of the other videos are some makeup tutorials, some makeup reviews, and different reviews, but we're going to do a little something different here. We're going to start some five part series, and the first one is going to be your fall checklist. And this is going to be pertaining to your personal life or your corporate life. And as we go through this, today is going to be the, not the first video in the series, this is like a preparation video. So as we go through this, I'll share with you what we're going to do. And like I said, this particular series is going to be your fall checklist. The fall is right around the corner. We're getting towards the end of 2020. And we've had a lot of challenges this year in 2020. Our personal lives have changed some because of the, the different challenges that we've had this year. Our corporations have changed. Our jobs have changed. Many of us, there are people that no longer have jobs. There's people that do have jobs. There's people that are having to work remote now. Remote work is, prevent, is a challenge for some people because if you have children at home, it's a challenge for you in addition to your children. People are used to having their children in school, whether it be high school, middle school, grade school, or universities, college. And it's just a lot different now. So parents have a lot on them as far as working with their children and helping them to get through the days and the challenges we've had in addition to your own self. If you're working inside your home, I call that a domestic engineer, that job never, never ends. Or if you work outside of your home, if you've got a corporate job, if you've got a nine to five job, if you've got a 12 hour shift, all kinds of different industries have different shifts of times that you have to work. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a fall checklist. And as we go through today, we're gonna to get prepared to start our series. Now I'll go through real quickly what our series is going to be. And that is the different headings for our series is going to be hello to you, celebrate you. And there's a lot of topics that we can discuss with this particular series. But the topics that we're going to be reviewing is the first one's gonna be finding you. So there'll be a separate video for finding you. Then there'll be a separate video for mind, body, and you. The third one will be you time, not their time. That'll be a separate video. The fourth one will be, hello, is anyone listening? Are you listening to yourself? And then the fifth video is going to be, it all falls on you. And then we'll be discussing the avenues that one probably ponders or in some cases takes depending on how much falls on you. So let's get started. As I said, this is your fall checklist series and we're just getting prepared here. So look for the next coming days and weeks where we'll be going through each of the different five topics that we just stated that will be the different series and then after that series completes we'll start a new one but this one is going to be a set of five different topics in the series hello to you celebrate you so let's get started and what we're going to do is we're just we're going to chat while I get prepared here and I'm going to include you in the preparation so what I've done is I have a real simple magazine here. That's the title of the magazine. If anyone gets this magazine, it is so good. I love this magazine. I used to take it all the time. I don't really have time to go through it a lot now because of my personal corporate life and family life, but 
I do really like this magazine. It has a lot of good tips in it. But for this particular series, we're going to be using this, this particular magazine. And I'm going to be cutting out different topics in the magazine. If you've ever heard of a vision board, this is kind of like that same avenue, but it's not really a vision board. This is going to be a prep board for us to prepare for our upcoming series. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is you see your fall checklist. Well, I'm gonna cut this out. And while I cut this, I'm gonna be sharing with you just some things to think about while we go through this. So what we're gonna do is your fall checklist. Fall is coming upon us. We've had a lot of challenges this year, everyone. And everyone has had their separate challenges. Some may be good, some may be bad. It's, there's just a series of things that people have been through in their lives. So do you have anything that you really think about day to day? What is good in your life? What is something that perhaps you need to change? And as you're going through here, you'll see that I'm going page by page, but what I'm doing is I'm looking for topics that we're gonna be including in our series. So think about what I'm saying. And as we go through this and I cut out the different topics, just think about your own lives and some of the avenues you've taken and possibly some of the avenues that you should take depending on what we're gonna be discussing. And as you see, I cut out different topics or words. Think about those words, and that way you'll be able to kind of generate your ideas for when we start our topics in the series. And as I cut these out, I'm gonna go ahead and mention them so that you'll be able to think about them ahead of time. So here's a good one. What's your best organization tip for fall? Sometimes it's very hard to get organized, especially in our careers and in our personal lives. I know that there's some organization that I need to do at home. And every time I try to get started with it, it never works out. There's always something else that comes up. I may get 20% done. I may get 50% done. Most times I only get about 5% done, and I still have a lot left to do. So think about different organization tips for your own self and your own family. Sometimes it's really hard because you feel like it all falls on yourself, and that makes a huge, huge difference. And sometimes it just takes a while for others to get organized. I know for me, I'm organized in some ways and I'm not organized in other ways. And it's sometimes hard after a day's work. I just don't want to get started. But, you know, we have to. So how is everyone doing with their job this year? Did you lose your job? Did you not lose your job? Most people are having to find out what it's like to work remote, and that's a whole nother topic in itself. I know that some people that I work with, it's very hard for them to work remote because they have children, and their children are usually at daycare when they're at work, and that makes it a little bit difficult. And I want to shout out to all the mothers and fathers out there who you are working remote and keeping everything going in your work life and in your home life right now because it is a huge, huge challenge. It's very hard to be on conference calls, get your job done, keep the kids happy, keep yourself happy. Just, it's just very hard to do so shout out to all of you everything that you're doing and look in the mirror take time to look in the mirror and say to yourself okay i'm doing this i've got to do this but i've made progress because at work now we do not get some of the 
think it is that we're supposed to get. And we have to look in the mirror and say, okay, I've done a good job. Is anyone noticing? And they do in the long run. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think that a lot of people really give the shout outs that are needed at times. And that goes into another topic. When you're working with people, you never know what they're going through. There may be a situation at their home that they're having to work through. And we do not know what individuals are going through. So be mindful of that when people are on calls and trying to do things. They just may not know. People don't know what everybody else is going through is what I'm trying to say. And there's always someone out there that's going through something that we may not know about. And it may be causing them to have a bad day. We don't know. So as I'm going through, I'm cutting out topics that we're going to have in our discussions coming up. And think about, while we're doing this, the job that you've got. And if you don't have a job right now, then think about the job that you would really like to have, what you think you would like to do, versus what maybe you were doing. Or if you're just about to go find a job, what you really want to do, because there's all kinds of avenues to go. Very, very hard to make a decision in some cases. And I commend people who sit back and say, okay, I want to do certain things, but I don't know how to do it. And they go about looking on the internet, trying to find something, how to go about finding the job. Maybe they're looking on LinkedIn, maybe you're looking on Indeed.com. There's just all kinds of avenues to go through to try to find a job these days. And if you don't have a job right now, use this time to think about what you want to do and why you want to do that. And is that going to benefit your family or... But it may cause more challenges on your, with your family. Some good things to think about. And while we're talking about this, one of the things that I'm finding that I'm actually cutting out of the magazine right now is organizing challenge. That came at a good time. All right, so I'm gonna to try to get through this magazine while we have a little talk here. And just go through these topics. Now, one of the ones that I'm cutting out right, right now is now what? Isn't that very ironic based on what we are talking about? Now what? There's so many people asking right now to themselves, now what do we do? Based on what the situation is going on in our world, and, you know, we're used to, some of us are used to going into an office. We're not going into an office now. You see, this says, now what? Smart fixes for life's little disasters. That timing is quite, goes quite well for most of us. So we just have to think about what we want to do next. And how to organize our lives and we're trying to organize for ourselves but in addition to we've got to organize for our families as well and you know that never ends those with children know for a fact that we're always going to be engaged in their lives and we have to help them make the right decisions in addition to our own selves trying to make the right decisions 